Hey guys, it's Monica at Academic Phoenix Plus, and I wanted to show you another tutorial. This time we're going to go over FX particles, just the foundation. So I have a basic scene, I have a, a regular physical sky, and also a regular plane. So when we render it, we're going to have just a basic scene. So what I want to show you guys is how to use particles, or at least the foundations of particles. And also what I really want to show you today is under FX, under end particles, there's a lot of things we can play around with, but I wanted to show you today was end particle tool and also instancer. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, under end particles, end particle tool, let's go to the options. And we're going to get a couple of uh, options here. Let's reset our tool just to make sure everything's clear. We can label our particle name, but I'm going to skip it and go directly to number of particles. Right now we have one. So that means that when I click on the plane, I'm going to get one particle. And then when I press enter, I now have a set of particles that I just created. So that's fun and all, but let's go ahead and delete that. And let's go to end particle, end particle tool. Let's go to the options. And this time we're going to sketch our particles. Intervals means how separated do you want this, the particles to be? So for example, if I start drawing now, I'm going to get a lot of particles combined. Press enter. And you also notice that we got a nucleus, which I'll talk about in a second. Delete that. I'm going to go back to end particle tool. I can just click on here. And I'm going to spread this, my particles around with sketch interval. And then I'm going to start drawing. So I still feel like they're a little close, so press enter, undo. I'm going to go ahead and grab the particle tools again, increase my sketch intervals, and just kind of sketch around. Cool. So very quickly, I can create a set of particles. So the next thing I want to talk to you guys about is the nucleus. The nucleus automatically gets created when we created these particles. And the nucleus means that it now has gravity. So when I rewind and press play, the particles are going to fall and hit, get, react with gravity. Now what's fun about, I'm going to lift this up just a little bit. What's fun is that the nucleus also has some attributes. And when you scroll down, you're going to see that gravity is right here. And we also have something called ground plane. So if we activate ground plane and then press play, the particles no longer fall past this ground plane. I can move the origin of the ground plane and maybe even add a little bit less friction and maybe a little bit of bounce. So if they rewind, so if I rewind and play, rewind, bring my particles up a little bit higher and play, they'll kind of stick a little bit more. I actually do want them to get stuck on the ground, so I'm actually okay with this. So now that we played around with a little bit of the particles, oh, one last thing, just for fun. Uh, if you've seen my end cloth tutorial, you know that the nucleus has some wind speed. So if you want to give it a little bit of wind, you'll notice that the particles will react to the wind. So I'm going to increase my wind, uh, oops, my wind speed. You'll notice that, oh, there they go. And if I just wait, there you go. So they're going to be flying away. So just keep an eye out for the wind speed. What's fun about this is that, let's say I wanted to create flowers scattered around here. So in my layers that I have hidden, I have this plane. And if I render, you're going to see that my little flower has an alpha map and therefore you get to see the shadow. So, and also notice that the particles also are emitting shadows, which is very interesting. By the way, you guys can create this particular flower if you go to my tutorials on how to create vines. We go over how to create alpha maps and how to create vines. So you're more than welcome to download the files, which are free at academicphoenixplus.com. Okay, so what, how do we get these plants to become particles? So what we can do is select the flowers, select the particles, and we're going to go to end particles and then go to instancer. And really quickly, we get a whole field of flowers. So if I go ahead and render this out, I'm going to get wherever I place the particle, it is there, which is actually pretty fun because it's so quick. So let me grab my little particle flower. I'm going to move it up here. And they're a little big, so, so you can scale them. But, and you can rotate them as well. So now I'm going to rewind, press play, and then I can watch them stick and render. So because of the ground plane is there, I'm going to lift my ground plane up a little higher, right around here. So now at least it looks like they're uh, 
in place and I might make them just a tiny little bit bigger just so I can oh, any type of changes you need to rewind and then you'll see the effect might need to make this and then of course once I press play they're gonna land I'm gonna press stop here and then just watch the render cool okay so really fast, we can make a field of flowers. So I already have a grass repeating texture that I downloaded from textures.com. And just by doing that and assigning it, I now have basically a field of flowers. Now imagine if there was grass everywhere and a lot of other things. So um, it would make it look really, really nice. All right, so that was very fast. Let me show you a couple of other really quick tricks uh, with the nucleus if you wanted to... Um, Increase the airspeed a little bit, maybe change the wind direction and the noise just a tiny bit so that we get a, uh, an interesting reaction. Oops, obviously my wind speed's not enough. And another thing I could add is if you grab the particle systems, there's also these things called solvers. So I like turbulence, and turbulence is going to kind of shake things up a little bit. So if I rewind and press play, you're going to see that my, my flowers are not only being affected by the wind, but now they're actually being scattered by this turbulence. So I can press play and then just kind of watch them kind of sk skid away. So maybe I'll go back and just kind of reduce the uh, wind speed. Reduce my wind direction too. And then now I'm going to get kind of like a nice slow windy uh, scene grab my turbulence if I wanted to make it a little bit strong I can always increase my magnitude Ooh, now I have a tornado so once again that was a quick tutorial on how to create a field of flowers and then a field of flowers with basically a tornado um, if you want to, actually, you can select, I deleted the, the turbulence, and if you go to field of uh, field and solvers, there is something called um, vortex. And again, I'm going to lift this up, and if you want and press play, it starts to turn the flower slowly. I'm going to increase the magnitude. There we go, and there we go. Now we have a vortex of flowers. And of course, you might want to hide that because that kind of breaks the illusion. But uh, very quickly, we can create a tornado of flowers. Whee! Um, that's probably a little too strong. But again, it's just kind of like a fun little thing that you guys can do with particles. All right, so hopefully that was a nice introduction on how to uh, use particle tool and also the instant search and also a couple of the fields and solvers. So let me know if you guys have any questions. Uh, have fun with playing with particles. And uh, don't forget to, if you like this type of tutorials, please like and share with anybody that you think would appreciate this. And of course, that always encourages me to make uh, more videos like these. Also, don't forget to leave a comment if you have any questions or comments and suggestions. I'm always listening. And I would really appreciate if you stop by at academicphoenixplus.com and sign up for my newsletter as well. I have a lot of things for you there, such as uh, free downloads, uh, some ebooks, and a bunch of other fun things. So thanks again for watching and listening. I really appreciate you guys. And I will see you in the next tutorial.